Head in the Lido Key today, Lenny Besterman Sarasota Experience. We're going to head down that way, check it out. This main beach that we're going to, it's the first weekend it's opened since they shut everything down. It's a beautiful drive, and I'm looking forward to going down to Lido Key in the heart of Sarasota, Florida. Happy Saturday. Saturday, May 23rd. It's officially hot, and we're headed to Lido Beach today. It's a beautiful area. It's in the heart of Sarasota, Florida. It's a beautiful drive. We're going to head down, cross the beautiful Ringling Bridge, John Ringling Bridge. Whole bunch of history to that guy. You know him as sorry, the Ringling Brothers Circus. There's a local museum here that he owned a house at that we'll do a separate video for one day. He was a huge pioneer to put Sarasota on the map. Uh, he was a big part of St. Armand Circle and a big part of Lido Key, which we're heading there right now. Beautiful beach. Let's go check it out. We're a little later than I recommend. The chances of us getting a parking spot are extremely low. It's 120. We're on our way now. We'll see in a couple minutes, probably 20 minutes. Hopefully we'll find that spot. And uh, like and subscribe. If you ring the bell, you'll see all of our notifications every time we release a video. We made it to Lido Beach. What a challenge it was to park. It's two o'clock, 10 after two on Saturday, May 23rd. This is the first Saturday this main beach is open on Lido Key. Crazy places to try to find a park, it was crazy. Absolutely packed, we found one spot on the main main Ben Franklin Drive. We're parked right across street, right across the street from the main beach. Right here, we drove around, we found somebody leaving. That's the only way we were able to get that spot. So, gonna head down to the main beach. We'll see you on Lido Beach. See you soon. So let's go check the beach out. Nice little deck that you can sit here and just relax and look around. And it's busy. Woo, busy, busy. But beautiful. Oh yeah, I love Lido. Lido's Main Beach, in Sarasota, Florida. Let's go walk on the beach for a minute. I'm sitting on the rock jetty on Lido Key. Lido is a very, Lido is a very, very special beach. Very unique and has a big history. First of all, this is the first Saturday, May 23rd, 
that they opened the main beach. The main beach is an area that's pretty cool. The history of it is the exact location they used to have a casino in the 1940s. And it was a huge hit. Many people and high class people used to come here and spend money on the beach at the casino. And it lasted till they ripped it down in 1969. The main beach is very, very pretty. It's not as deep. In my opinion, it's extremely nice. This key has four different beaches. You have the main beach that we're on. Then you have South Lido, which is Ted Sperling Park. Then you have North Lido, which basically if you park, it's the most private side of the entire key. If you park uh, in the main beach or even near St. Armand Circle and you walk to the sand, make a right. And it's extremely hard for anybody to get there, but the beach is pretty quiet and private. Uh, but it is open to the public. That's a great place for you to go work out, walk, enjoy a day with nobody around if that's what you're looking for. The main beaches always are bombarded with people. I did say four beaches, but actually the fourth spot is a nature trail and kayak launch for the mangroves. That's there on the east side of the island. Very, very nice thing to take advantage of. The mangroves for the kayaking is awesome and extremely popular. Highly recommend that. The beaches have been closed for about eight weeks till today, so it's not surprising that, that the beach is very busy. Uh, it does not surprise me at all. It's also Memorial Day weekend, Saturday. It took me a while to find a parking spot. I finally found one, but uh, that's like that a lot of times on the weekends. You're still okay for parking during the week. From what I understand, it's not that bad. They are still, today is the first day they're letting people from out of town rent Airbnbs. Now, with that being said, be cautious because there are stipulations. Manatee County and Sarasota County, uh, this is the first time in weeks they've been able to do it. From what I understand, it's a state legislation that they just approved but they do have a plan in place that if you live in an area that is still being hit hard from the pandemic, uh, you're not going to be allowed to, to uh, rent. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they do that. But Lido Key, very, very nice. Also another little side note, if you're on Instagram, the main beach is where we do our Insta meets. Three people organized it and started this. They're my friends. Wendy, follow me to Siesta Key. Julie, Pink Gem Life. And Sheila, follow me to Longboat Key. Take a look at their Instagram pages. They're always talking about when the next Insta Meet is. We go to Cha Cha Coconuts for dinner in St. Armand Circle. Then we head here to the main beach for a beach party on the sand. It's a great thing if you're into social media at all, especially Instagram. Great thing to get involved in. You'll meet a lot of people. I personally have. I built most of my network from going to Instameets. But anyway, Sarasota, Florida, the heart, Lido Key, Lido Main Beach. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Another great thing that you can do when you're down here is plan your day accordingly. St. Armand Circle is neighbor is uh, right next to the beach. You actually could park there. It is pay to parking. Anything in front of the local beaches as of today is free. You do not need to pay to park. But what I would recommend is you come to the beach, then go over, walk over to St. Armand Circle. There's over 130 shops over there with a deep history, and it is an awesome place in Sarasota to enjoy restaurants and shopping. Very old-fashioned looking, looking. It's uh, but plenty of ice cream places, shops, restaurants, all kinds of different neat things to go check out. And is walking distance to Lido Key, absolute great place to enjoy a sunset too. Uh, there's so many different areas in Sarasota that you can enjoy. The west coast of Florida is beautiful. I spend most of my time in the Sarasota, Bradenton area, and even down in the Charlotte County sometimes. Beautiful areas, absolutely great. Great, great place, Lido Beach. The main beach, 
just north of Ted Sperling Park. Take a look at that if you have a chance. That's another little trick. If you happen to come down here on a busy day and you get to the main beach and it's too busy, try the South Lido Beach. There's a lot of space down there, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's the same type of sand, very white, very nice, soft on your feet, stays the same temperature. Um, ex extremely, extremely nice. Very similar to Siesta Key. It's good stuff. So. Hope you have a chance to get out here sometime and enjoy the beautiful water. We're at the end of May, and I've been talking about in my videos on how clear the water is in May. A lot of that has to do with not a lot of rain. And um, when it starts to rain, which it will here in the summer months, the water is still very clear, but it just stirs things up a little bit more than normal. Very special time of year if you're here to take a look and walk around and enjoy the clear water, especially this year where the beaches just have not had much activity since the beginning of March. All right, so here's one problem right now. They're doing something to the cafeteria where the restrooms are. So unfortunately, the only thing you have to work with down here is a food truck, which I'm not sure how the food is. I'm sure it's fine, but this is the, the larger of the two problems, Porta Johns. You have the Gulf of Mexico, which I say jokingly, the water's so clear right now, people may know that you're going to the bathroom, so be careful that way. And, uh, or these Porta Johns, or the Gulf, that's what your bathrooms are. And uh, this is the parking lot that is 100% full. City of Sarasota. And they're putting something new in. Lido Pavilion Improvements. New roof, shade pad, patio area, new concessions and gifts. Okay, so there's your answer right there. That's why that is closed. Um, that's pretty good. So they're gonna have a big remodel here and that'll be different. Give me a favor, share this post out, copy the link, like and subscribe to our page. I like to cover beaches and anything that you can do in the Sarasota, Bradenton, and surrounding areas. I love Florida and I like to share what I know about the areas from what I have learned in my own personal experiences and I always always welcome what you have to say about the area as well. Would love to hear your feedback and we'll talk to you soon.